Hi, this is the Good Life Investor, and today we're going to discuss the Brazilian citizenship by investment option and what are the different ways in which you can qualify for your Brazilian PR, which then leads to citizenship. And don't skip this video right through till the end because these are important options and different options for different set of people. Each option has some advantages and disadvantages, so I'm going to dive into the details of each option. So it's going to be an important video watch it right through till the end. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jay Shuresh, and here we discuss different residencies, citizenships, and investment options. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you are updated on any changes in residencies or rule changes or citizenship program changes, etc. And if you like the kind of content that I create, then definitely give me a thumbs up and let's get started. <music> So there are several options for the Brazilian citizenship by investment and the lowest one being 28K. And you heard that right. Yes, as low as 28K, you can actually invest this money and you can qualify for an immediate PR. And there are some advantages and disadvantages of this option. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. The next three options are by investing 94 K, 94 or 95K based on the exchange rate, it's actually 500K Brazilian in a business. And that can also qualify you for PR. Now, this option has some unique advantages over the previous options, and we'll get to that in a minute. The next option is investing 127K in real estate. So the last two options, I'm going to discuss the real estate options. So the cheapest is 127, 128K USD, which is 700 Brazilian in real estate. And this is your real estate. You're investing in your own property. And that way you can qualify for an immediate Brazilian PR. Now, this is applicable if you're investing in the northern regions, in certain northern regions. So it's not applicable throughout Brazil. If you want the flexibility of buying a property elsewhere, then there's the next option, which is investing 187k USD anywhere in Brazil. And this last and the fourth option has some extreme advantages in terms of the speed to citizenship, et cetera. And in my opinion, this one is the best option out of all the four. So let's look at each one of these in more detail. The first option, which is 28K USD in a business. Now, if you invest this money in starting your own business, the biggest advantage with this option is that this is cheap. A lot of people can actually afford this. 28K USD is not a big amount. Most people should have this readily available to invest in a business. So the biggest disadvantage with this option is that you also have to create 10 jobs in addition to investing this amount. So that instantly makes this uh, not a good option for a lot of people. There'll be still some people who can take advantage of this option if they actually need to hire people and hire staff in Brazil. And there's a lot of good, talented people available in Brazil. So this might be a good option for people who want to actually run operations out of Brazil, but you have to take into account that there would be cost of paying these people. These would be full-time jobs, and you'll have to keep running this business and operating this business successfully throughout your tenure. So that's the first option. So the next option is 500K Brazilian in a business, which is approximately 94, 95K USD. And if you invest this operating capital in a business, then you don't have to worry about the second requirement, which is hiring those minimum 10 people. You can have less employees, you can have more employees, there is flexibility. And with just the investment of 95k USD approximately, you can go ahead and apply for your permanent residency in Brazil. The biggest advantage is it has no requirement for hiring the minimum number of people. So you have the peace of mind. You can hire less or more people as you need. The next options are my favorite ones, which is the real estate route. And if you purchase a real estate worth 127K, then you instantly qualify for the PR as well. And this is a free option, mind you, because you are investing this money in purchasing your own real estate. So there's no expense. So there's no golden visa fees that you're incurring with this option. 
And the only caveat or the only disadvantage is that you're restricted to the northern part of Brazil and the time to citizenship will also be impacted with this option. And finally, I want to cover my favorite option. And before we cover the fourth option, I wanted to discuss a couple of big advantages that I see with Brazil in the South or Latin American side is that Brazil has access to a lot of people, a lot of young people. So if you're looking to hire young professionals, or if you're looking to meet new people or network or make new friends, then you have access to a lot of good quality, young and attractive people in Brazil. The second advantage of Brazil is that it has the language Portuguese, which is different. Uh, rest of Latin America speaks Spanish, but with Brazil, you have Portuguese language, which is very useful if you want to pair this with the Portugal uh, option as well, because in Portugal, you'll eventually need Portuguese. So if you have Portuguese in Brazil, you have Portuguese in Portugal, then you have some leverage and advantage from future perspective. The third big advantage of Brazil is that its passport has access to 170 countries. And this number changes, but approximately 170 countries, which makes it one of the strongest passports available in South America. So if you're looking for a good, solid, strong passport, then this option is really good for you. The second thing is if you have your family in Brazil, let's say you have a child in Brazil, then your child can never be extradited from Brazil. So it's a gift for your child. I'm not saying anyone should ever need this requirement, but it's just some information that you can keep handy in case you like this option. Now, typically, I've spoken about Brazilian citizenship by family, meaning if you're married to a Brazilian citizen or if you have a child in Brazil. But I wanted to cover this very important topic of Brazilian citizenship by in investment option. A lot of people aren't actually aware that this exists and the different options that you can qualify under. Now that we have spoken all the advantages of the Brazilian option, let's look at the fourth and the most important option to qualify for Brazilian citizenship by the property route. It's by investing 187k USD, which is 1 million Brazilian currency in Brazilian real estate. Now, the biggest advantage with this is that you can buy this property anywhere in Brazil. The second biggest advantage is that the residency required with this option to maintain your PR is just 30 days a year. Now, of course, the citizenship would have different requirements. You'll have to show more ties. Your property does help you show some of those ties. Now, let's jump to the most important advantage of this fourth option, and it is the speed to citizenship. Now, all the three options I discussed before, you can qualify for citizenship after residing in Brazil for four years. But with this fourth option, you actually have to only reside for three years after which you can become eligible to apply for Brazilian citizenship. If you're looking to purchase a property in Brazil in order to qualify for your residency and citizenship by investment, click the link in the description, book a call with us, and we can discuss your use case and how we can get you started with this option. And if you like this video, again, uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe, 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 so you get updated notifications on all the options and all the changes that happen. And until next time, you take care and goodbye.